not mention the version in Angular in your skill. So, what version you are working right now? Uh, I'm working on Angular 10, right? Angular 10. Angular 10 yeah. Okay, so all the projects are in Angular 10 or uh, those are some lower uh, versions? Of... I have worked on Angular 8 and uh, 10. Uh, I uh, used uh, Angular 11 as well. But the thing is, uh, I haven't like uh, used the features uh, which are additionally used, many of the people. So, okay. So, okay. So, do you, need, uh, do you know what is the difference between authentication and authorization? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay. authentication is uh, like uh, uh, when we try, uh, we are uh, making the user log in mm -hmm. to identify if it is uh, authentic or not. If the person is like uh, a real person, uh, a real user of our website or not. And uh, authorization is like when uh, the person, the user is uh, um, going to a URL or trying to see some data from the source of our website. And uh, is he allowed to do that? Like uh, we can have multiple type of roles for the user, uh, admin or user, okay. normal user. So... So, okay, so if you want to implement the authorization in our Angular, so how can we do that? Authorization, right? No? Hmm. Means someone should not have access for some route. So how you should uh, how you do that? So uh, so for route we can like uh, uh, write uh, cards mm -hmm. in our routing file, and uh, uh, for the resource uh, we can um, send the token to the backend, and uh, the server would. Uh, decide if it is authorized yet. Okay. But uh, in your client side, how you will know that? So this is authenticated or not. So server should respond something to you, correct? Some flags to you. Right. So depend upon that, you will uh, redirect the user to some other screen. Be suppose someone shouldn't have access, so That's... he should redirect to some other URL, correct? Right, right. We can yeah. uh, use the guard. Right? Okay. So do you know what kind of guards we use for this? Uh, can activate... Uh, can load okay. and recently uh, in recent uh, angular version we have a new guard uh, confused what its name but it is the mix, mix of can activate and can load a new okay. guard has. okay yeah that, okay that is fine okay okay so in angular we have a so first of all tell me how angular application runs in the dom means what process it does while uh, loading the your code into the browser uh, so first of all uh, uh, the index.html file is loaded and uh, uh, angular uh, by default uh, bootstrap all the application uh, and uh, it uh, like loads all the necessary modules and uh, all the eagerly loaded we can say eagerly loaded modules from our web uh, our app app and then paints the com. Okay. So, like the uh, index.html file calls the main, main file and the ps, then it calls the it's our calls our root component, which is usually app dot root app dot component. And mm -hmm. uh, then if we have other routes and definition, so, that goes. Yeah, yeah. So those are the part of the, your models, ng model, correct? Okay. So if I don't want to uh, I load the angular com uh, app component instead of that i want to load some other component so how can i do that uh, we have uh, like a defined uh, sorry the selector of we have uh, used we use selector of our app component mm -hmm. in our index file in the main file or in the index file yeah uh, somewhere in there so we can change the what do you say the selector and we can go to another other uh, uh, module as well so it would it would not load the our uh, app mm -hmm. app component and uh, app module and it would load other other modules if we define that okay. so when you uh, run your command ng build and ng serve so what is difference between both so uh, ng build would make a, a build in our uh, list sorry in this folder in our uh, application where all the files have been compiled to run, uh, compiled uh, and uh, they are e uh, ready to uh, serve on our production uh, server. Ready. Okay, so production, production ready. Okay. Yeah. 
so the so, browser would be able to okay so uh, how the ng build works I means so when you write ng build from here it uh, knows that uh, i need to create a disk now and i want to create this bundle file so do you know from here it picks all those things like uh, we have a compiler in uh, in angular yeah uh, right now see i we uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, I will tell you. But uh, see, when you write ng serve as well, there are some couple of commands we have written somewhere. So depend upon that, your code get runs. So that I'm asking. Mm -hmm. So do you know where we write all those things? Uh, in package JSON. Sorry. sorry. The commands. Angular dot package. JSON. Angular dot JSON. Pa package. No, no. Oh, I'm okay, not asking sorry. command. Yeah. I'm not asking command. That is fine. You write the command in ng serve, ng build in package dot JSON. But when mm -hmm. you hit that command, what the Angular does for you means how the Angular knows that I do I need to do these steps that I was asking. So that is part of yeah, yeah. Angular dot JSON. Angular dot JSON, right, right. So we have uh, we have the uh, like uh, all the configuration there for the uh, each and every command. Like uh, for the star, we have uh, different things. For the build, we have different different things. So uh, we can define our own options and the architecture of our command. Thing. Okay. Yep. So that is fine. Uh, okay. So, okay. We'll move to the next question then. So uh, have you got some errors, course errors somewhere in your code while writing the application? Course error? Yeah. Cross origin uh, error. Right. So okay. uh, it happens uh, when we are trying to... Uh, uh, we uh, where our backend and the front end are in uh, uh, like different different uh, you can say security level we can say uh, mm -hmm. if uh, we run our uh, uh, application in https and our server is in http mm -hmm. uh, so so it would throw the error that uh, it's a course error so uh, when we are trying to connect http or to https like mm -hmm. one of our front end or back end is in HTTP and the other one is on HTTPS. Then the server will throw an error, mostly because of this. Okay. And so you got errors because of your HTTP or HTTPS or something else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, we get errors because of that. So see, it is not depend upon the, your protocol. It is because you are getting that error because you have different domains. Your server is on some other uh, other place. Okay, so your server name is suppose uh, google.com. Okay, and you are trying to access the data from localhost. So your domain is now localhost, but you are accessing google.com. So this is mismatch. So depend upon that, your uh, Chrome browser gives you the course error because it was not allowed to do those things. So it is not related to the, your HTTP, HTTPS. It is related to your domain, what domain you are using. So that is the okay. thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So, okay. So next question is related to performance. Okay. So if I want to improve the performance of your Angular application, so what are the steps we have to follow? Uh, for our per uh, performance in our production or the normal anywhere, normal anywhere, normal. anywhere. We can like uh, for the performance, we try to do like uh, uh, use the lazy loading. One of the thing is lazy loading. Mm -hmm. All right. And tree shaking is there in the production. What is tree shaking? So uh, tree shaking is basically uh, when when we build the application, you know, build our application. It removes mm -hmm. all unnecessary packages and uh, commands and uh, all the other things which are not required in order. So just like uh, a tree. Uh, which have some uh, leaves, so uh, we leave. So, okay. so when we shake the tree, uh, all the unnecessary uh, branches and mm -hmm. um, um, leaves uh, will fall off the tree. Okay. So only the leaves. that that is the okay. So uh, have you heard about uh, smart component and dumb components? No. No. I might have an idea, but uh, I I am not uh, used to get the exact. Uh, name of the particular thing yeah. so uh, read about it the smart company yeah. yep both okay okay so now again i am not asking the common question like how we can pass data from 
component to uh, service service to component and then rendering into the dom so how can we bind the data then again to with the pipes then async pipes all those things okay so this you should prepare correct mm -hmm. and apart from that uh, life cycle hooks also you should prepare yeah, yeah. yeah. okay so uh yeah. one last question uh what is change detection what it does exactly uh so uh, it is a mechanism uh uh, which uh, is Angular's own mechanism mm -hmm. uh, to detect the uh, look. What happens is uh, when we declare a variable in our uh, component mm -hmm. ES file uh, and uh, bind it to the HTML. So we have a reference to like uh, how do we know that if, uh, if we change the component uh, from one to two or anywhere, any mm -hmm. anything. So uh, Angular has its own functionality to Mm, uh, check if the uh, variable has been changed or not so that it can render it uh, render the changed uh, version of the variable to the html so angular creates its own uh, particular class for each and every component and it uh, uh, uses the reference of those um, variables in that so whenever uh, we uh, make a change in our uh, variable, mm -hmm. it uh, it uh, like uh, it uh, compares the previous version of that variable and the new version. And if if it thinks like uh, there is a change, it would update the variable in the HTML. So that is how change detection works. Okay. So uh, one more question. So uh, have you heard about on push or something? Means so while using the chain detection, mm -hmm. yeah, I have heard about. It. Okay, and yeah. what what is the use of it? Uh, so uh, the thing is, uh, we have uh, two uh, two life cycle hooks related to the chain detection. Uh, the one is ng do check, and mm -hmm. one is ng on push. Mm -hmm. So uh, ng do check uh, usually checks uh, every time when we change something in our uh, component so uh, it uh, return it returns a simple change method uh, where we can uh, check if the component has been changed or not something like that you know, and uh, write our own our own logic where there and uh, ng do check uh, is a like is again a black like cycle and uh, i think i haven't used that but uh, i am sure that uh, that is related to the change detection obviously so okay. yeah i haven't used that uh, do check till now i have used the uh, the on for example i am confused that is, yeah yeah that is fine uh, you, you can read about those how to use and no also. no uh, sorry i am must have confused in the name of those things. so I, I have no when to uh, when to use i mean to say when to use yeah, yeah, those things I mean. do check and yeah, on push, push and do on push and default not the do check it is default uh okay i think uh we have covered the related to the actually i wanted to ask uh, the question related to the framework angular framework not the related to the service and all those things so that is why i asked you most of the question related to the angular.json they're related to the your uh, how to build application how it looked like in the dom so that uh, for this reason i asked you for the first question what is dom so you can relate now how the angular application loaded to the dom so that is why okay so you have any question for me now uh like how how do i prepare those uh so uh, i think you should have to prepare more in javascript rather than angular okay because the javascript is the core thing for a front-end developer so that is expected right, right. from everyone as a ui developer so if you are good in javascript then you can write the typescript easily so right. those things you have to make sure to work on because those will be needing for you so how uh like uh, how do like uh, just uh, i can uh, read about all the things but uh, how do i uh, got to the point like uh, where you ask me the uh, interrelated questions like uh, mm -hmm. uh, what is how spread up better then mm -hmm. the deep copy actual copy and all the Hmm. So, uh, is there any material or something like that so that i can 
go through that and mm, material work. right now i don't have i'm creating that material right now so from top mate only i'll be uh, pushing it to download as a sample resume i have added over there kind of but uh, i'm not getting much time to create those things but uh, maybe i will create in a couple of months so you can download from there as well but right now you are on notice period so not sure about it but uh, work so, on the common questions whatever i ask you and the common question means that uh, late const all those things yeah i, I do i prepared for those things so i asked you different questions instead of asking those uh, that's what i am i am like uh, uh, I want to check like uh, if these things are asked or not and how mm. do I uh, go, uh, pop up with the things like uh, when a person asks me a different question rather than the one I have prepared. So how See, do every, I, uh, everyone will have the different question set, correct? So, exactly. yeah, so, so you cannot uh, uh, say that the this should be the question no, set no. and like that. Yeah. मेरा मतलब यही था कि अगर कोई मुझसे इस टाइप के क्वेश्चन पूछे जो मैंने प्रिपेयर नहीं किए तो हाउ हाउ आई पर आई वुड परफॉर्म नहीं 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 आप सीधा बोल दो ना मुझे नहीं पता हां मतलब जो पता नहीं है ना देखो गलत आंसर देने से अच्छा ना देना अच्छा है ना जैसे तुम गलत आंसर दे दोगे तो वो फिर आपको उसी में पकड़ लेगा कि नहीं इसने गलत दिया तो इसको पूछते रहेंगे ऐसे क्यों वैसे क्यों उसे अच्छा ना पता नहीं है तो सीधा बोल दो कि मुझे नहीं पता है भाई ये मैं पढ़ लूंगा और ऐसा इस सिचुएशन में कि आपको थोड़ा बहुत पता हो और बस पूरा हां मतलब आप बोल सकते हो मुझे ज्यादा पता नहीं है लेकिन मुझे जितना पता है मैं आपको बता सकता हूं वैसे काइंड ऑफ तो वैसे जितना पता है इतना बता दो और उसको अभी समझ लेने दो जितना आपको उसको क्या लग रहा है अगर बोलेंगे कि नहीं भाई मेरे को ये भी बताओ भी बता तो उस केस में फिर आपको बताना पड़ेगा लेकिन जितना पता है उतना तो बता सकते हो ना वो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लाइक मेरे को स्प्रेड ऑपरेटर मुझे स्प्रेड ऑपरेटर का अलग पता था बट कॉपी शेल को भी अलग पता था हां क्यों देखो यार कोड लिखते हैं ऑब्जेक्ट कॉपी करते रहते हैं इधर से उधर ठीक है ना तो लेकिन हम ध्यान नहीं देते कि कोड लिखते टाइम क्या है कैसे ठीक है ना तो उन चीजों पे ध्यान रखो क्योंकि अभी अगर आप सीनियर डेवलपर एज अ सीनियर डेवलपर जाओगे ना तो ये सब चीजें वो एक्सपेक्ट करेंगे ही तुमसे यस सर सो वो तुम थोड़ा थोड़ा ध्यान रखना स्टार्ट करो अभी तो तुमको इजी रहेंगे आप आगे जाके ओके ओके थैंक यू सो मच पवन फॉर दिस इंटरव्यू एंड यस नो प्रॉब्लम आप मुझे ना इस पे पिंग कर सकते हो इंस्टाग्राम पे कभी भी तो अगर आपको कुछ क्वेश्चन है तो हम वहां पे बात कर सकते हैं एक्चुअली आई डोंट बिलीव इंस्टाग्राम मेल कर दो मेल कर दो मेल कर दो आईडी आईडी बनी हुई है बट नहीं नहीं ठीक है ना मेल तो यूज कर रहे हो ना मेल कर दो फिर मेल पे मैं रिप्लाई कर दूंगा कोई प्रॉब्लम ओके थैंक यू अगेन ठीक है ना यस ओके चलो बाय 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 जब क्या बात है ये स्टॉप कर